Good afternoon, uh, dear chairmen, uh, dear audience. Thank you for participating today. Let me introduce my PhD project. I'm Dr. Kopany Kocsis. I'm working as a, a specialist in the Department of Orthopedic and Traumatology in the Ujoki Hospital. My supervisor is Dr. Károly Pap, and uh, my team is uh, Norbert Kovács and uh, Gergely Agoc from the Translational Medicine Center. Uh, our vision is uh, to give uh, better attendance with faster and more accurate diagnosis to our patients. My mission is to learn, uh, to read, and uh, get experience in uh, musculoskeletal ultrasonography. To gain this aim, I will make uh, two meta-analyses and a cohort study in these topics. Uh, my PhD research will be the uh, comparison of uh, the ac uh, diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound and MRI assessing in the injured ta anterior talofibular ligament and the injured medial collateral ligament of the knee. My first project will be a meta-analysis uh, about comparing the diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound and MRI assessing in anterior talofibular ligament injury. The anterior talofibular ligament is uh, the most common injured ligament of the ankle, and uh, we didn't have evidence that uh, physical examination can correctly uh, evaluate the level of injury. Uh, the, when we want to know, uh, surely, how serious is the tear, we are using MRI nowadays. Uh, however, uh, ultrasound uh, could, uh, could be a good alternative uh, to quantify. It's uh, relatively inexpensive, widely available, and uh, fast, and we can perform it immediately at the first patient visit at the ambulance. Our aim is uh, to compare the diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound and MRI assessing anterior talofibular ligament injury. The clinical question is, uh, can we use ultrasonography to quantify? Is it good enough uh, to uh, get the answer? Our hypothesis uh, is that uh, we can use uh, ultrasonography uh, beside uh, the MRI to qu uh, qualify the ATFL injury. Uh, our population is uh, the acute uh, ankle injured patient without uh, bone fracture, and we will compare the ultrasonography and MRI, and we check uh, sensitivity and specificity of them. Uh, the clinical implication is MRI is the gold standard, but ultrasonography could be a good at, uh, alternative. After uh, a literature overview, uh, I found uh, several articles uh, what shows us uh, we can research more in this field. Uh, I already made the selection, and uh, I will go ahead with the data extraction for eligible articles. My uh, second project is a meta-analysis too, uh, about comparing the diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound and MRI assessing in medial collateral ligament injury of the knee. The medial collateral uh, ligament is the most frequent uh, injured ligament during knee traumas, uh, more often than the cruciate ligament. Neither we have evidence uh, that uh, physical examination can uh, evaluate correctly the grade, uh, can evaluate uh, the level of injury. Uh, MRI is the gold standard too, and uh, uh, we will compare the diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound and MRI assessing a medial collateral ligament injury. Uh, we are interested in that uh, can we use ultrasonography uh, to quantify the grade of injury of uh, medial collateral ligament. 
we will check the sensitivity and specificity, specificity too. Uh, mm, yeah, and the, the population is uh, the acute uh, medial collateral ligament injured patient. After a systematic search, uh, we are investigating now on uh, feasibility of uh, diagnostic network meta-analysis. Uh, my uh, clinical trial uh, uh, will be a cohort study about comparing the diagnostic accuracy of ultrasound and MRI assessing in medial collateral injury of the knee. <clears throat> Uh, as I mentioned previously, it's the most uh, common injured ligament during knee traumas. Uh, neither we have evidence uh, that physical examination can grade correctly uh, the level of the injury. And we would like to improve the role of ultrasonography of the diagnostic of uh, soft tissue injury. Uh, our clinical question is uh, that uh, can we use uh, ultrasonography uh, to quantify the grade uh, of injury of medial collateral ligament? Uh, the population is the same. The medial collateral ligament injured patient, we will compare the MRI and ultrasonography findings, and we will check the sensitivity and specificity. Uh, we will include uh, those adults who has acute medial collateral injury without uh, cruciate injury. We will exclude uh, children and multiligament are injured patients. I will examine them with ultrasonography and send them to MRI in the same week they injured and uh, and uh, we would like to evaluate and, uh, and uh, compare the ultrasonography and MRI findings. Uh, in conclusion, I can say uh, that uh, I think the results of the literature overview uh, give us more trust in uh, ultrasonography in the second part of my PhD research, uh, as results of this trust, I would like to uh, make this examination the uh, part of the daily routine and uh, um, take more user-friendly uh, for practitioners. And uh, when we have luck, it will happen. I will uh, close my uh, speech with uh, quote of Thomas Jefferson, who believed in luck as well. I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Thank you very much. So when you do ultrasound and compare it to MRI, I mean, you do a literature search. I wonder, if, do you have a cutoff date which you don't see what you look at before, because previously, I mean, ultrasound systems or equipments are getting better and better. And maybe actually you get better results with the new ones and then not so good results with the old ones. So do you deal with this or do you, again, that do you have a cutoff that, I mean, let's say that you started just three or four years ago, because maybe that, that is valuable in the kind of such development with the instrumentation. Thank you very much. You have a right. Uh, nowadays, our uh, better uh, ultrasound, ultrasonography uh, devices than before 20 years. Um, but uh, it depends on uh, not the uh, made of the device, uh, the year, the made of the old, uh, the age of the device, uh, the quality of picture, of ultrasonography picture, uh, uh, compare with the frequency of it. And we will compare the similar frequency made uh, ultrasonography pictures. You can identify the instruments which you expect that work in a kind of good yeah, level. We, and then yeah, we will have a minimum level. Okay. We Thank would you. like to use uh, at least uh, 
20 uh, megahertz device. Very nice talk. Uh, I'm gastroenterologist, so the question may not be, uh, maybe a little bit silly. So the last project is a diagnostic test accuracy study. Uh, it, it will be a cohort study, yes, a clinical trial. So you are going to look at the patient's knee with MR and ultrasound? I would like to examine uh, myself by ultrasonography and I will send them to MRI and uh, those pictures uh, will compare uh, my own uh, findings. So but the, the MRI uh, will evaluate uh, musculoskeletal specialist. By one or by two or how? how yeah, is that uh, two. two. By two musculoskeletal specialist MRI radiologists will look yeah. at. Okay. Uh, are you planning to, I hope you are planning to uh, blind yourself to the MRI result? Uh, question mark in the end. Yes, of course, because uh, ultrasound uh, can we make immediately and uh, we have to ask uh, a, a term for MRI. What, I, I cannot... Uh, what I am trying to understand, how will you make sure that you don't learn the result of the MRI before you give your opinion on the ultrasound. Because you have to make sure. Because I will make uh, earlier the ultrasonography. Oh, that's, that's easy, so you are absolutely yeah. blind. <laughs> and <clears throat> so you said you want to prove that it's as good as, as MRI or can replace MRI in the assessment of these injuries. What is the, what is, what is the threshold for saying that? Because you will have an accuracy in the end, sensitivity and specificity. Uh, against MRI scan, do you have numbers in your head? What what is acceptable? Ninety better than ninety percent? I, I I cannot uh, uh, tell you correct uh, numbers. I didn't uh, try it, but uh, ultrasonography will be never so good as MRI. It will be a little bit inferior, but. Uh, because it's uh, widely available, relatively inexpensive in the contrast of MRI device. It's, it's much... Uh, I, I, I totally see the point. We have the same problem in gastroenterology, <laughs> yeah. ultrasound versus MRI. Uh, so I see the it, point. It could it's be just... useful. It's, it's much uh, useful, uh, simple ultrasound than the uh, clinical test, uh, the only physical examination. My question is really about how accurate do you want it to be before you, you are happy to say, I am going to replace the MRI in my clinical practice with ultrasound? Uh, if you are uh, is a specialist already, you have some uh, experience in physical examination and clinical tests, and you have uh, a device, ultrasonography device, you uh, can evaluate uh, correctly, uh, at least so correctly, I think so, okay, the, than the MRI, with MRI. <laughs> Thank you for, for the very nice presentation. Uh, uh, ultrasound is uh, dependent very much on the assessor. Yes. Uh, how is this in your full text for the two metas? Um, how will you approach this? Will this influence your results? Because how experienced are the examiners in the studies that you're going to, to include in your meta? Or? In the meta or in my... Uh, uh, in the meta-analysis. Uh, in the meta-analysis, in the articles uh, are uh, talking about that it was uh, two different uh, specialists, uh, one who made the ultrasonography and one other uh, who uh, evaluated the MRI. Not uh, in the same for the blindings, of course. Thank you. I think that's an important question, the expertise of the operator. You, so are, there any, so are there any differences in the, in the reliability or accuracy of these tests if they are done by someone junior who has done 100 or someone who has done 10,000? 
Yes, of course, the experience is uh, very, very important. Uh, every uh, practitioner. Uh, and you have to pay attention to it when you do your, your, your meta-analysis and taking apart those studies in which highly experienced experts do it because that will give the most reliable number and that's, that's, that could be an argument for using it. I, I think your study is pretty similar to, uh, to Lutza's study because uh, she is also uh, analyzing or evaluating the factors that can influence the results of uh, MRI and uh, the same probably you can think about uh, uh, next project as uh, to evaluate what can influence the results of those results. Thank you very much. I think we have to go on.